Well, it's always been Farmer's Best Fertilizer okay. down here, but it, it's also always been called the Cook Place because the Cook family is the one that started it. Most of the customers, it's been here over 33 years, and most of the customers are customers that started when they did. Kevin Wimberly passed this white building many times over the years. Well, you know, I, I like probably mo uh, most people who don't farm didn't even know we were here. I'd ride by it every day. Little did he know one day he'd be running it. Wimberly bought Farmer's Best Fertilizer in April. Andy and Judy would want to continue running it. They were getting closer and closer to retirement age, and they, there was some concern that it may eventually shut down. And uh, so I've had many people thank me, you know, for coming in and, and taking over and keeping it going. So. Wimberly enters agribusiness at a time when the industry has seen better days. Fewer farmers planting winter crops such as grain and wheat does mean a slowdown in sales. I mean, we are definitely seeing less winter plantings this year, whether it be for grazing or specifically for grain like wheat. Um, we're, seeing, we're seeing people just decide that it's not worth it. We're just seeing astronomical increases in fertilizer costs. Um, wholesale prices are up over 100%, meaning they've doubled um, in that time period for things like potash, um, uh, ammonium nitrate, stuff like that is all just dramatically increased. Fertilizer is one factor, but certainly not the only one pushing more farmers out of the fields this winter. I mean, we do quite a bit in the cattle side, so we see hay rings, we see anything that that's produced with metal, um, we're seeing those increases as well. One thing you might not have realized, agribusiness owners such as Kevin Wimberly, he spends a lot of his time shopping for his customers in order to pass along the lowest prices. We have several different suppliers for each component that we use. We shop around to all of them, find the best price you can, and when you do find a good price, you better buy as much of it as you can and kind of stockpile. Farmers and us as well, uh, and most small businesses work on a razor thin margin, you know, and, and we've, we've even reduced that margin to try to keep prices down to where it's viable for everybody. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's certainly been a challenge, but uh, not one that we haven't held up to so far. Wimberly says he loves agriculture and this new enterprise fits him quite well okay. and his plans for the future. I have two sons as well that both have been in the farming industry for a while and both of them like it. And, uh, you know, th there's one thing to work a job your whole life and retire. There's another to build something that you can pass on to the next generation. And that's kind of what this was. That, you know, my full intentions when I bought this is I'm going to run it 10 years and then hand it to them and let them take it from there. For Wimberley, it's an exciting new venture and a wonderful way to serve producers in the Dudley area. On the farm, I'm Greg Lloyd.